barrel. Hey. Bottom of the barrel, cause hey. the barrel is only hey. two. Baby, well, I still got beer from the last two. bottle. Oh no, I don't. Do you drink it? <laughs> no, no, I dumped it out to give you a fresh one. Cause I wasn't gonna drink your fucking shitty old beer. As if you dumped out a beer. <laughs> I did. I did. I dumped it in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, welcome back to Bob, guys. Don't forget to hit that sub button, like this video. If you're watching more than a minute of this video, you have to like. That's the deal we have right now. Ooh, that's a foamy. Oh god. Every time. It's a foamer. Got a foamy. Yeah, uh, yeah, like and subscribe. Yeah, that's fun. It's a lot of foam. Yeah, no, that's it. You drink them slow anyways. Fucking drink, drink them like you're cooking noodles and those things. You drink them like you've been on a ship out to sea for 30 <laughs> days. Yep. I'm not even worried about it, man. My my alcohol uh, is my my problem. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I meant to say. Correct. I meant to say something else, and then I slid right into like a, a, into a deep a, confession, a subtle cry for help. <laughs> <laughs> my alcohol is a problem. Uh, Understatement of the year. Oh man! Welcome back. Love you. Let's get to the bottom of it. Cheers, buddy. Mm. <laughs> There we go. Oh, I like this beer. Did you like. fix your fucking mug or something? Bought another one. I just thought one of these broke. Yeah, threw it out. Good call. I like how they're larger than life. You'd never use those in a normal situation. Yeah, they're great for here. Yeah, perfect. Actually, I would. If I had like a big ass Game of Thrones table. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Big yeah. house, big table made of like barn wood and like yeah. fucking bringing out copper trays of fucking turkey and pork. You know, and ham, and just like, and you got these big. That's that's where it's at. I've always, as a kid, I used to read. Do you know uh, Asterix, the comic book? Asterix, Obelix. Mm. Oh, I do know what it is. I never read it, but I do know what you're talking about. So in in Germany, it'd be Asterix and Obelix. Over here in Quebec, it's only Asterix, I think, or only Obelix. Oh, really? One of the two. Yeah. Um, and at the end, they'd always have this big feast, and it looks so fucking good that's like, why you went crazy in the car dro or the wall dropping yep. a cold open oh because i just want to just it was like peter pan man when yeah, the fucking food oh, finally appears and hook and just love like, that it's yeah. complete decadence that was, and yeah. gluttony yeah was i want to live that way one time man like just once just, just do it order, up once. yeah order a shit ton of food and just eat your way through it yeah for sure you know? and then uh Look out your window at all the peasants that are starving. Toss them a bone, you know? yeah, and they're throw like, them, and they're like eating the little <laughs> meat off the bones. Yeah. You know, that's what I want for sure. <laughs> I feel like I wouldn't. I mean, everyone likes to pretend they wouldn't uh, abuse their power, but you get used to it real fast. I'll Six months that. in in office as king in in fourteen hundreds. I'm doing that. I can tell you for I can, sure. I can tell you for a fact. Like I've changed since money happened. Yeah. Uh, not in the ways that matter. Yeah. But in the ways that are kind of irrelevant. Well, like, now you make fun of poor people all the time. When the cameras are off, like oh, this guy, man. All the time. <laughs> um, no, in the ways that are like, um, okay, there's a movie I wanted to watch. And it was available on Apple TV. Yeah. Uh, and it was like twenty four ninety nine to rent, twenty nine ninety nine to buy. Steep. And both of those are steep because yeah. you're like not going to watch it more than once. So you're like, I can just wait three months. Not even. Probably three weeks. Yeah. Uh, and I knew that. And I was like, don't need to. <laughs> right. So you get used to that mentality real quick. Yeah. That sort of uh, everything's accessible. Like you have more options when you have money. Yeah. And so the things that you would rationalize before are completely fucking out the window all of a sudden <laughs> yeah. and they're, they're like it's irrational to even consider another option yeah. when this doesn't matter <laughs> you know what i mean it's not going to change my life renting buying a movie it's not going to fucking not a dent yeah. you know yeah. and that's the truth so it's like those type of decisions get fucking a little bit you know yeah so well, you get used to it real quick i'm <laughs> saying with a with like you know give me a trillion dollars yeah 
and then it'll, it'll become like, oh, fuck yeah, well, I want a new heart. Fucking <laughs> bionic heart, hook me up. Like, it wouldn't even be an option. It's right? like when we're in Dubai, we're at this guy's house, I put my feet up on the table, and he's like, yeah, that's from the Ming Dynasty. And I'm like, okay, take my feet <laughs> off the table. <laughs> and he's like, no, it's fine. I'm like, is it though? Yeah, it is to him, gonna, not yeah, to you. Yeah, yeah, to me, I was like, yeah. I can't uh, afford a coaster for this table. Yeah, he's uh, like, so we went back in time and grabbed it, so <laughs> yeah, it's no problem. go for it. Yeah, <laughs> easy, easy. Yeah, we can just go back and grab the same one. Well, it's all it's all in perspective because I know what, when I go out with like my other friends um, that are uh, I don't know back home that are like comedians that are like they haven't you know had a pop off yep. yet or whatever and broke ass comedians yeah broke ass comedians yeah, yeah right unfunny <laughs> not broke ass comedians you can say it okay if you were funny you'd be you you'd popped off by now that's what I'm saying yeah <laughs> no but like I'll pay a bill because I don't yeah, it didn't it, I, it, I know it it's fine change, it I know it's fine life, yeah. And they're like, whoa. And I'm like, fuck, I remember, though. Yeah, I remember, too. Like, I know. It doesn't stop crazy. me from... crazy. It doesn't stop me from it's fucking crazy. doing it. Yeah. But, I, yeah, I remember what it was like to not... Uh, to not... To be like, hey, Chris, you want to come out? And be like, no, I can't. Right. And yes. Like, oh, you got to work tomorrow? Also, but... Yeah. <laughs> Not the reason I can't. That's such a fucking good one. Yeah. So you want to come out? It's like I I, I can't. can't. <laughs> yeah. My buddy, my buddy Dan used to used to a lot of times be like, just come, I got you. Yeah. You know, and like feels bad though. It does feel bad, but he wanted me there, and I and I'm like, if he if he didn't say that though, I'm like, got to stay home tonight. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like <laughs> I don't want to, yeah, guys. Gonna, I can't. Gonna have sleep for dinner. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> oh man, that's so that's a, such a good reference. I can't. Yeah, I think the other part of it too is um, when, uh, like, I, I I don't I don't sweat like buying beers money, but I'm still at the stage of like, you know, uh, I, I I'm sweating rent sometimes. Not like sweating it, but yeah. it's in my it's it's not still a no brainer. Right, right. I'm still like, okay, I'm good this month and next month. And I'm like th- living three four months ahead. I'm not like yeah. on top of myself. It's okay, but then I know the next step is. You don't think about that either. Well, I mean, that's it, good to go. If you got to say the word rent, well, that's the other thing that's too. The, yeah, there you the go. Other that's the other thing too. <laughs> you're like you're sure. always sweating it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fuck. You, you don't sweat rent. Yeah. <laughs> you don't not sweat rent. Right, like, I mean, right. You right. know what I mean? If you, yeah. If you're not sweating rent, then, you're not paying rent. Then you shouldn't have rent. You shouldn't have you rent. Should mortgage. Of course, you're gonna sweat yeah. rent. Sweat rent. Rent yeah. is. So that's where I'm at. Immediately sweatable. <laughs> that's where I'm at for sure. Speaking of which, I just bought a thousand dollar puzzle. Won an auction here. Shit. Yeah. Thousand fifty. So many people were bidding on this puzzle. It was started at like a hundred dollars and went up real fucking quick. But I'm glad I got it. Fuck yeah! And does the time just run out, or people just stop bidding? How does it work? Um, nobody outbid me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I put like a max cap bid, and uh. people I guess were bidding, and so my max cap will go up and up and up, but never. Oh, never over that number. Yeah. Oh, so you don't have to physically log in and keep one up. I do it? if someone asks, outbids me, but uh. I'll get an email. Oh, that's pretty handy. Yeah. Shit, man! They figure out all kinds of way to get you spend money on. These days, yeah, this anything. But I mean, for me, it's different. Well, like, for you, that makes no, it makes sense because it's, it's fucking, an investment. You're gonna film it over there, and you know. And mind you, I've had you know videos where obviously I didn't get the money back. No, you maybe over did. time through all the videos because all the videos I ever make, and I always say this, they're all assets, man. These videos are all, um, they're all things that you can have forever. Yeah, right. So just like any asset, you don't just sell it once. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? You try to sell it multiple times, different platforms, yeah. uh, recut it, put it into a different video, maybe make a mashup, um, you know, sell it to an airline that's going to put it on, uh, you know, th- sell it to a network, a TV thing. Like these are assets. Yeah. So, uh, you know, for I- any investment I have in puzzle, uh, in a puzzle, I know that eventually it's going to come back to me somehow. Hopefully, you know, in the future. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully sooner rather than later. Hopefully. Uh, twofold, tenfold, a hundredfold. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. Sometimes immediately, but not always. I'm mm-hmm. just going to turn the monitor. Oh, so we don't fuck this up again? Yeah, just make sure it's there. I don't think it's going to make any difference. I think we're going to fuck it up just like we always do. Wouldn't be Bob if we didn't. <laughs> Wouldn't be Bob if we did. Oh, fuck me. Oh, All right, there we go. Oh, oh. oh Jesus. I almost broke the t- <laughs> That's all that's missing, though. Yeah, this thing is uh, it's not as sturdy as it once was. Yeah, uh, that's a metaphor, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> true. That's a metaphor for <laughs> all of my knees. Yeah, you, what are you grabbing it now? I had uh, as, uh, read a uh, fucking headline that this lady, a, a vegan, I guess, bit into a thing at McDonald's <laughs> and they'd given her a chicken burger instead of a fucking vegan burger. That's funny. She's like vomiting and crying. Hey, take can't take a joke. Well, <laughs> I don't think they meant to do it. I mean, obviously they did. I That's guess a they fucking were... joke fibers, you know. Yeah, but uh, it, 
Why would <clears throat> Why would you go to McDonald's? As yeah, a vegan? that's what I'm trying to say. Like, don't go to McDonald's as a vegan. Yeah. Then I, I, I don't know. Like, it sucks that it happened to you. If but you're, fuck off. Like, first of all, don't if go you're McDonald's a vegan. vegan or pescatarian or any of those things, you gotta go you to have, fancy restaurants. You have money. Mm. If you're trying to be a broke vegan, yeah, you're just unhealthy. Yeah. Because to be a vegan, you need to keep that fucking you know metabolism going the yeah. protein intake sure nuts are fucking crazy expensive dude you know you got to eat those you yeah gotta, like you know what i mean like it's a whole fucking pro it's a privilege well, to be like i'm vegan yeah you know unless you're living in a third world country and you're like there's no meat then we, yeah you know what i mean but i'm just saying like especially like you're saying if you probably are privileged even if you're not why would you trust your specific dietary um, beliefs yeah. requirements to a 15 year old making minimum yeah. wage any i would type, not trust that fucking any guy. type of dietary restriction don't you, go to mcdonald's yeah you go to a good restaurant you can expect it if they serve you the wrong thing at a nice restaurant and you want to complain about it and stuff i'm like i'm with you yeah. i will be like that's fucked up guys this is your job mcdonald's fuck i would have I mean, loved to been there damn. to see her freak out though she said she didn't even know what it was how funny she had no idea she never eaten meat before she didn't know she was like trying to figure out. She was like, why is it? Maybe she was crying because it was so delicious. <laughs> now we're getting to the bottom of it. That's the fucking truth. There yeah, it is. She's she had a she's fucking like... coming to God moment there <laughs> yeah. eating that chicken. Yeah, Tell you that. That's like oh, oh, when we were in Dubai, they have all the fucking uh, veal. What was it veal bacon? Not even bacon. Yeah, Remember yeah, that? no pork. Yeah, because it took me days. Yeah, I to thought realize... they worshipped pigs. Turns out the opposite. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they just don't like them they at all. They don't like them yeah, at all, yeah, because right. it's like Indians worship cows. Right, so they animal. don't eat them. So I thought same thing in Saudi or in yeah. fucking Middle East yeah. where I was like, oh, you just fucking, you know, the pig god or whatever. Yeah. And they're like, no, 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 <laughs> they're fucking nasty. We don't <laughs> want them anywhere near us. Oh. Get out of our country. And I'm like, oh, fuck, okay. <laughs> I just thought it was so fancy that I'm seeing like all this like veal rashers, they're called. I'm like, yeah. instead of bacon, I'm like, ooh, fancy bacon. Yeah. But I didn't put it together Eating the last baby day. animals, not disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> eating grown ass pigs. Yeah, super can't yeah. do it. That's why we don't call it eating pig, dude. We call it mm. bacon and ham and pork. Yeah, and chicken's all these the only one that sticks with it, really. Poultry. They mostly just go chicken, though, right? Uh, they never... Yeah, always chicken. Yeah, you never. Yeah. Chicken. Yeah. It's a weird one. To... But oh, chickens, sorry. chickens like, you know, what they, kind of bird... they've earned their spot. What kind of birds have you eaten? Cause we, I... Oh, I've eaten, well, I mean, probably, I mean, any type of bird that's legal. Because I've eaten, uh, uh, yeah, you know, chicken, duck, partridge, ostrich. Never had a partridge. I had partridge, a lot of partridge. I have a lot of hunters up here, like friends, yeah. like whose parents hunt and stuff, and they make like partridge stew and sausages and shit. Oh. It's really gamey, like duck. I, I had, a, I had a, I had a it's, grouse. It's kind of like, yeah, like grouse. Probably same taste. We hit it with an axe when we were firefighting. Oh wow! And it di- we didn't expect to, and then it died. So oh, we, wow. we ate it and roasted over fire. Heck yeah, it was great. Fucking yeah. proud of that, buddy Ryan. Yeah, no, I killed. Uh, uh, I didn't kill. I my buddy killed a partridge when we were out camping. It was in a tree. Threw a fucking giant rock at it, <laughs> and it just went plunk, <laughs> fell to the ground. So the axe, the same thing. We're like, what the yeah, fuck? He grabbed it by the head, started spinning it around. Yeah, and then fucking yeah, we had delicious partridge for supper. <laughs> yeah, it was amazing. It's funny, man. It's like it's so funny when uh, you go out hunting and you probably like I've never really been hunting ever, right? Uh, other than with my axe that time, and I didn't do it. it wasn't me, but. It's so funny because people go out hunting and they come up empty, and we weren't hunting. <laughs> you yeah, know? and you're like, and oh. you're just plentiful. <laughs> yeah, we're like, oh, just, we're just a bounty of meat. We're just about to eat this thing now. Yeah. This is great. <laughs> Did you see on the uh, Delta? Was it Delta or American Airlines? Um, a lady. There was a big scandal because she was caught breastfeeding. A or a ha- cat. A hairless cat <laughs> mid-flight. Um, <laughs> so many questions. First of all, uh, that's. <laughs> That's no way to treat an ugly baby. <laughs> you can't. You can't call it a hairless. You can't cat. assume it's a hairless cat <laughs> when it's just a gremlin ass looking fucking child. Maybe it's you know a little Fuck. premature, preemie. Oh, so you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, like yeah. you can't just straight assume. Uh, second of all, maybe the cat identifies as a baby. All right, you need to fucking mm, chill your tits. That's true. Okay. All right. All right. Maybe the cat identifies. And also, mm-hmm. ow. Yeah, that's what I keep. That's the, my first thought. I was like, yeah. how? How? Ow, how? Yeah, ouch. Ouch. Um, yeah, cats have razor sharp teeth, which normally newborns are not, aren't born with teeth. So, <laughs> does it make no, sense? Normally not. That's how they knew it was a cat. Yeah, it's the teeth. It had pointy canines. Because she was going ow, ow. Maybe, yeah, maybe and it was clawing at her fucking yeah. <laughs> aola, aora, aola. Uh, yeah. What was it called? Aola, yeah. a- aliova. <laughs> Aviolas? It's labia. Labia. <laughs> Her aviolas. Clitoris, I think, is the one that's the, the stick out with yeah. the milk. Her aorta. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's fucking, that's a bold choice, man. She has to know 
it's going to cause a huge stare if you do that. If you want to feed your cat from your titty milk on your own time, uh, whatever. Um, I would pre-pump. Yeah, but the, yeah, exactly. Like she did that to create. A, Feels like an emergency situation. She she was trying to create a stir for sure. Or like she just had to, like her cat was dying of hunger. Those hairless cats. Maybe it was full of hair, <laughs> and then just lost all its hair through hunger. And she's like, I got to do something. She might have saved this cat's life. Really, I think people are taking it way too far. That's true. Well, we'll send her a shirt. Definitely. <laughs> Put a little hole in it. <laughs> Yeah, that's a wow. Imagine just like being that lady, and every time you see a cat, your fucking tits start to milk. Because <laughs> you, because like you know, mothers, it happens to mothers oh where like God. if a baby cries, yeah, they, they start they getting start fucking yeah, whatever. tit cramps, and they're like, oh, I'm gonna lactate. Yeah, yeah, that'd be fucking wild, wouldn't it? You know, she be. probably has multiple cats at home. And is it true that it, it, as long as you're breastfeeding, you could just breastfeed forever as long as you keep breastfeeding? Yeah, you can breastfeed and then stop breastfeeding and keep breastfeeding. You can breastfeed whenever you want as a woman. Because if if you have a baby, um, it it basically wakes it up. Wild. Yeah. So like, and the men can breastfeed too, uh, with this type of drug. I I think I read this. They had um, they were given this like, fucking hormonal drug or whatever, and then they could start, uh, fucking lactating. Uh, that's gonna be. Why else would me. you have nipples though? I'm good. Why do we have nipples? Right. Oh, so we don't look funny in bathing suit. We've already learned this before. No, I feel like we would look better. <laughs> Yeah, I, I some can't. people's nipples are off putting. They're not in the right spot. They're yeah. they're too big, too small. Just get rid of them entirely. I don't know. It, yeah, I mean, why do men have nipples? I don't think they know. I don't think they must not know. Should we Google it? Yeah. Google. Why do men have nipples? If <laughs> you need, yeah, it's your face. Uh, you didn't find anything. You just found a fucking wiki article, you idiot. I could have done I that know, too. It always does that. So stupid. Hold on. Get smart. I mean, we know the AI is smarter than they're showing us because that's how smart they are. But hey, man, leak it a little bit more, okay? You the nipple? Little... No, <laughs> yeah. After the testes are formed. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> we're starting at the bottom. Yeah. And now we're here? Got to the bottom of it. The male fetus begins producing testosterone mm -hmm. at about nine weeks of gestation, changing the genetic activity of the cells in the genitals and brain. Oh, so basically. We all start female? We all start women. Makes sense. And then someone goes, yeah, guy. And then someone goes, eh. yeah. And then testies out. Um. Well, I'm glad that we don't actually develop tits then <laughs> before. Yeah, I did. They I, decide. I've been developing tits you more did. every year. This guy had a breast reduction. Oh, that too. Yeah, that's right. Fuck. So you were like, you were. I had one boob. Yeah, your yeah. fetus like was like 100 percent like we're going woman here. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, you fought it. Yeah, I fought it. You won the battle, mm -hmm. had Half some scars yeah. left over. You had to get a breast reduction in a single breast. Single breast, this side right here. Yeah. yeah. This is true. We're not actually No, joking. we're not joking around, yeah. This whole bottom part of my nipple has got a scar, and I can I only got like you know, 80% of the feeling here. Yeah, it, it really Yeah. It really looks like you. If I were to breastfeed a cat, <laughs> I would do it on this side yeah. so it wouldn't bite, it wouldn't hurt so bad. Yeah, if you were to show me like just like, I mean, yeah, it looks like, you know, he went to um, transition. I look it, fine. It looks, it 100% looks like you got your breast removed. It looks fine. I know it looks fine. It looks great. <laughs> and I'm proud of you. You know yeah. what? And own it. Um, I, I, it. I am self conscious about it because it is a different shape than this side, obviously. Yeah. It's, it drives, it's it a, little a little bit. bit uh, it drives me nuts. Yeah. 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 It drives me crazy. I don't mind. Okay. I'm over it. I'm not, well, I'm not worried about it. Clearly. <laughs> well, well, why, are we gonna, why are we pointing out self conscious things right now? I mean, because it's funny. That's <laughs> well, hilarious, good. dude. Yeah, it wasn't wasn't when I was sixteen. That's why I got it done. What you gotta say is <laughs> what you gotta say is yeah. They took the titty out, but they took all the stuff out of the titty and put it in my dick. Yeah, and that's how you doubled down. No, but you, but I've seen so, too many people have seen my dick. <laughs> They're <laughs> like, did you get that reduced as well? <laughs> they were like, <laughs> what did you start with? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm like, you had to, you had to upgrade to medium. You got a, a dick reduction? Is that what you got? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, it was two for one that day. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. I found an old video of me with like, because they said they, they way better at reducing titty stuff now. I had a I had a hose sticking out of my boob. Um, of course you did. Uh, and it would like drain. That's normal. It would drain say. into this thing oh. for like. A, I think a week or two weeks. Wow. I was at home. I didn't go to school. No, of course not. Just, Ooh. Yeah, he didn't go to school. No. Don't go to school with a and it just uh, filled titty up this hose. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
I just sat at home watching Corky Romano. Oh yeah. Uh, on uh, on, my, on my fucking mom's pillow couch. Just lactating. Just just bleed no <laughs> bleeding into this fucking thing. I'm glad feeding a yeah. cat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! And then I had to wear I had to wear a compression bra after for basketball. Wow! And uh, and like you I go was, shirtless in the locker room? Yeah, I had no choice. And my coach had a rule of like no t-shirts under your jerseys, so I had just this jersey. And the other team was like see- shirts versus skins. Come on, Barker, take that top off. I was like, I can't surgically fucking attach yeah. to my body. Well, when you still see it even like in the regular jersey, so the other team could see that I was wearing a bra. A bra? <laughs> Which should totally be okay now. Yeah, but back then I was yeah. obviously I was intimidating. Yeah, because what kind of you wouldn't have made you wouldn't have made the team. They're like, why is the captain of the team wearing yeah. a bra? Yeah. He must be fucking know something we don't know. Yeah, or he's just fucking. He's one of those crazy motherfuckers. Yeah, and I had a black a mouth guard and a bra on. Yeah, you don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. You should have <laughs> wore a ponytail and just <laughs> fucked with him hard. Some <laughs> lipstick smeared across your cheeks and be like, I'm ready, baby. <laughs> Hilarious. Yeah, that's pretty fucking great. I forgot about that. But trying to forget about it at least. <laughs> I'll be there to bring it up. <laughs> Thanks, every now man. And then. Appreciate that. So good. We're in that first merch. Get your first merch. First dot shop, baby. First dot shop. First dot shop. Oh man, no wonder they call that the wide angle. Fuck, I hate this place. It is very wide. Oh, it's a very I'll wide angle. One day. Um. Yeah. Did you see that uh, shark that got, that puked up a human arm? Did you read that article? Wow. And really? A 13 foot tiger shark. They have it in an aquarium. Whoa, a 13 foot tiger shark? That's what it said. Dude, tiger sharks, I didn't know they were that I, big. I didn't know they were that big either. Whoa. I might have misread it. I might be quoting this Puked wrong. Puked up an arm. Yeah, in an aquarium. In an aquarium? That's where the, the, that's where the murder mystery starts. They're like, oh, this what is like though? some fucking Carol Baskin shit. Yeah, dude. They're like, uh, what? And it had like a recognizable tattoo on it and trying to figure out who it is. Like, dude, it's like. I was like trying to click one more in the article, but I lost it in my fucking Instagram scroll. Yeah, somewhere. Yeah, they're like top ten reasons why you yeah. should click on this. You're like, fuck me, I got to go through all these pages. Yeah, I'm not, now. I'm like, I'm not, I don't care that way. much. I they just bait the t- you on with a sentence at a time. The title is good enough for me. Speculation is all, uh, just as much fun. So I don't yeah, that's shit. all. That's all people need nowadays. But like, who who opts to feed someone to a shark? Hey, like, I gotta mean, get rid of a body. I don't think I go shark. No, no reliability. Yeah, on you them. go pig, like Bricktop. Yeah, you go pig for sure. Pig like Bricktop and Snatch. Yeah, you know they don't leave anything. Pigs yeah. they eat everything. Um, yeah, 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 but did you watch season two of Tiger King? No, did you started it? I feel like fuck now off. they're just what? they're just beating a dead tiger at yeah, this point. That's what I figured they were going to you know do. I mean, literally, and you know, figuratively. No one's going to kill themselves on camera again, so I'm not. You know. Yeah, we already saw the person lose an arm and everything. Yeah. All the good stuff. All was, the good. Now shit. it's just all the story about all these other motherfuckers getting famous. Oh, off right. of him, and there's right. just a bunch of collect calls and from Joe. There's never actual footage of him. Oh, really? Fuck that. Yeah, he's not out or anything. Like still it's, in jail? It's the whole thing about him trying to get a pardon while Trump was there, which obviously didn't work, and uh, and, and just how everybody's getting rich off his ass, and I think it's uh, it's entertaining, but it's also like I don't want to support it yeah, anymore because those zoos are fucked, man. They're like, fucked, Get dude. rid of them entirely. Yeah. Uh, fuck all those people. Yeah. Uh, if any of you are fans of the show... I'm a fan of the show. I think it's fucking hilarious that yeah. these parody of humans exist, but fuck off with your your tiger zoos in Kentucky and shit. Yeah, and shit. that like, lady feeding the? that one with her titty on the plane? <laughs> yeah. Was it a tiger? Oh. That was Carol Baskin. Oh, right. <laughs> Carol Baskin. Yeah, the first season was like, okay, we didn't know what Kill it was. Her no, husband, okay. stab. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, yeah, you got to go pig to get rid of a body. My pig buddy, my buddy told body. me crab. He said you, uh, you got to... Crabs, they'll eat the bone and everything, break them up. How many crabs does it take, though? I don't know, probably a lot. Yeah, he looked like a scary motherfucker. This guy, did. yeah, if somebody tells you that, yeah, that's he, fucking too much information. And he said it like no big deal. He, like, that's just, a little too precise to be like, oh, pick no crabs. And you're like, fuck, man, you've, yeah, he's like, what? He's like, yeah, yeah, they, yeah you've they been bone a part of this. Like, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you grew up in this, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, you fell in it when you were a kid. He was on our basketball team for a hot minute and then he never came back one day. No. And we never heard from him again. Yeah, he was into Did he have shit. an arm tattoo? Did he go to an aquarium? <laughs> was he on a plane? Separated feeding by a twenty years. Cat? <laughs> yeah. Well. Mm. That was trippy. I don't know. I feel like uh if you're in so like say say you're in crocodile country. Yes. Are crocodiles reliable to get rid of or, or are they like I think there are so many of them that yeah. Yeah. Because there are, like, a lot of crocodiles. Like, they're not on the verge of extinction. People no. are shooting them in their backyard. They're dope. Throwing them out. Like, I've seen them on the side of the road in fucking Florida. No, that's alligator. Oh, is it? There's a difference. I mean, not really. Oh, buddy. Same fucking thing. No, the size alone. Okay, crocodiles are bigger? Huge. No, there were crocodiles out there. Definitely not. 
Well, they're fucking big. Yeah, but crocodiles go to like 21 feet. Yeah, these things are like fucking 12 feet, 15 feet. Yeah, I guess alligator, yeah. That's almost double the size. I went to I went to um I went to a farm there. Oh, okay, you might have a crocodile. Yeah, I think they were I think they were all crocodiles because he was sitting on top of them. These things were huge. They didn't have like the the small noses. They had the big wide. They were crocodiles. Fuck, I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't know anymore. I'm they on, got crocodiles out there. Maybe yeah, maybe they do. Uh, but maybe alligators and crocodiles. Who knows? <laughs> Isn't one freshwater and one saltwater? Um, I don't know. I really just thought because al- they're in the Everglades, right? Yeah, I thought alligators, Florida, crocodiles, like fucking Africa and, and are there Australia. crocodiles in Florida? Alligators live all over Florida, mainly in freshwater, such as swamp. Okay. And then saltwater so crocs are the big motherfuckers. Okay. So they might have had crocodiles in the zoo then. That's probably true. Okay. Because the ones I saw on the side of the road were all mangled up. They were hit by cars. They Holy fucking, shit. Yeah, there's shit ton. You're driving down the I've Everglades. Never, I've never been down there. So I went with this guy. Leo Jim was his name. He's, uh, he's Native American, um, and they have this fucking crazy, like we went to a museum and shit. Like I learned a lot about... The sort, like I had a gig at a tattoo convention, which was at a casino in fucking oh, yeah. Florida. Great. And this guy took me around. He's like, "Hey, let me take you to uh, the alligator farm we got." Um, and it's fucking just this long road, this long stretch down the Everglades, and it's fucking just on the side of the road, like roadkill. Like you'd see a raccoon here. It was just gator guts, right? Yeah. And we got there, and like they make you sign a waiver if you want to sit on the fucking crocodile, or whatever it was. And, and there's like a pool of fucking shit ton of them. I didn't do it. I, I pussied out hard. But then he brought me to this museum because uh, they that was their number one source of food, clothing, yeah. everything was killing these alligators, right? Damn. And they would kill them with fucking knives, like by like they had ways of hunting them. You know, like people that know how to handle them make them seem like they're not that bad because yeah, yeah. they know how to get behind them or grab yeah. whatever. Fuck me, man! It was I'm really scared. It was really impressive. And uh, one thing, one thing that was interesting on that too is like snakes. They're deathly afraid of, and not because they're venomous, because they're like against their like religion and culture. Uh, like if you see the belly of a snake, you're cursed. Type things. They uh, would not touch, look at a snake. None of that. So uh, learned all these like crazy facts out there. But it was it was a fucking fun time. I've never seen like a wild gator or crocodile like either. Yeah. And just to see a bunch on the side of the road just fucking, like, half squashed, I was like, yo, what the fuck? This is crazy. We saw some wild crocodiles in Australia. Yeah? That was a fucked up day, though, because we went on a crocodile tour. You know, you can go oh, on, yeah. on the Dantry River is the most densely populated. They take you on one of those, like, boats with the big fucking fans in the back? Uh, no, this is just, like, Maybe seven, starting. 27. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it, it's pretty like it's like a super low to the ground boat, but they're like, don't put your arms over the. They don't, Whoa! They like it's. It, they're like, don't ruin this for us. They don't attack the boats. They don't recognize this as food. But if you start dangling shit over, one day someone's gonna lose an arm, and now the whole thing's gonna right, shut so down. Right, it's precautionary. Yeah, but they had just had a kid. Uh, the day I got there, the fucking guide looked all fucked up, like like he hadn't slept, and he's like crying and like red eyes and shit. He's like, sorry, it's going to be a real weird tour today. Um, a kid that lives down the road here, he got taken by a crocodile last night, and we were looking for the body all last night, all of us. And he was like, he's like, so let's go do the tour now. Did and they find it? No, they didn't find it. But well, there we, you go. There's your answer. There's boats going up and down the but whole time. there's your there. answer. It's creepy. That's though. how you do it. That's how you do it. Because that, happen, that happened uh, when I went to Disney. But how do I get the body to Australia? Uh, um, no, <laughs> uh, you know. There's uh, logistics. Um, <laughs> shit, Bob. There's uh, a, <laughs> there's um, I stayed at the Polynesian Resort in Disney, and right there was uh, there was a, a kid that got eaten like the year before, a crocodile or alligator or whatever. Fuck. Yeah. God damn it. Idiot. Reach out the crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Bob two, take two. Yeah. Short hiatus. Short hiatus. We're back. Back in the game. Um, Let me, you, you talk to them. I'm going to close the blinds here. Cool. Well, I'm going to... Uh, Spin the wheel. I, no, I want everyone here to... Uh, I want you guys to check out my other podcast. It's called Original Heist. And I tell heist stories. I tell true heist stories. They're short. All the podcasts are under 15 minutes. Check out 10 seconds worth right here. Our target this time 
was the Hatton Garden Vault. We're reporting the heist at the Hatton Garden Safe Deposit Company here in London. These heists couldn't happen today with modern technology and security, plus cameras everywhere. Well, in 2015, a bunch of senior citizens pulled off one of the biggest heists in English history, robbing over 14 million pounds worth of gold, jewels, and cash. Boom. I'll clap that in for you. But uh, yeah, check it out, guys. Uh, it's a really fucking good time. Um, I It's got good sound mixing and stuff. It's the opposite of this podcast. It's like concise and has a point, and you might like it. So please. Check it out if you like that kind of shit. And then, yeah, also, spin in the wheel. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you spin out a shout-out? Hey, Julie. <laughs> we All put right. that in a couple weeks ago. Yeah, because uh, she hit the uh, choose your own, and she's like, well, shout-out Julie Nolke shout on out YouTube. So there you go. We hit it. <laughs> Julie Nolke. We'll leave the link in yeah. the description. Yeah. Go watch Julie's shit. That was clever of her. Yeah. Worked out. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. So what else is new in the zoo, man? Oh, buddy, I've just been uh, well, living in Toronto, but living in boxes because I mean I've been away. Yeah, uh, like a homeless person. Yeah, literally moved and then dropped off my shit, slept once, and then I've been just been gone doing gigs, which is a great problem to have. But you know, living in fucking boxes. Our apartment is the identical apartment that we moved out of. Okay, except yeah. it's a two bedroom, two bathroom. Okay, but the main room it's got the same south east corner same view of the lake and the cn uh cn tower is that what it's called eiffel tower eiffel tower CN, yeah <laughs> yeah okay and it's so it's so dope but we we, we rented it without looking at it because it's identical same building we get there the fucking main room is six feet shorter that's a lot you cannot tell i'll put up two images can you hit the clapper for me yeah. I'll, I'll put up two images here and i'm telling you the one on the right is six feet shorter. And how much more do you pay a month? Oh. <laughs> but, but we get the extra bathroom, the extra room. Yeah. So now I have an office and shit, which I, before I didn't. So it's full two-bedroom. Well, that's where the office came from. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, I guess. They took all that extra space and were like, we'll give an extra room it's in the bathroom. It's technically still like 100 square feet more, I guess. Yeah. But, dude, we we had to... We have no Lazy Boy chair. We have no bar. Imagine if this Bob oh podcast was six feet shorter. You would only see one of us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We we had to we, we have no kitchen table anymore. Yeah, wow. We, we had to lose something. Wow. Buy kitchen table. We can be eating on the couch, you, I guess. You, you're never home anyway. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. But it just blew our minds because it it looks the same. Yeah. And I th- I talked to the like, landlord right away. I'm like, ah. Uh-huh. He's <laughs> like, yeah, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, you should have come through. <laughs> Fuck. You signed the line, uh, baby. But you know, now that I got most of the stuff, you know, everything's finding its little homes. Yeah. Big ass, some big ass closets and stuff. Like it's gonna be all good. And uh, it's starting to feel good, man. I like, you know, the other night just walked out of my place. I'm back. I felt like I hadn't even yeah. left. It's, it's, it is jarring on my brain to go from living here. Like going from there to here back to there. My brain cannot do this mental gymnastics. That's, it's like, where am I? It's a lot, man. It's a lot Fuck. to uh, to undertake not only, you know, the moving, changing of culture <laughs> yeah, and language. Yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, working on top of that and for sure. Yeah, but I mean, you know, Kristen's working at the airport. I'm always at the airport. That that drive is like, you know, is 24 minutes. Yeah, I'll be there tomorrow. Yeah. Oh yeah, we'll see tomorrow. We'll go from we'll go to the airport. We'll go right to mine because it's right there. Yep. And we'll chill there for a bit. I gotta uh, go check in, and then we'll go check in because yep. you'll be early anyways. Yep. And once we go check in, I'll sort of just stay with you anyways. But we'll, I'll go show you. Go we'll grab uh, some lunch. Gra- grab some lunch around there. Yeah. I think Pete's down to hang out. Great. Fuck so yeah. So I don't know if that's tomorrow or we'll call him up. Yeah. See if he wants to come have a. Have a coffee. Yeah, that'd be good, man. That'd be really fun. I hear he drinks coffee. Yeah. <laughs> it's all for show. He doesn't even like it. He's a tea man. <laughs> he does. It's a tea man. It's event. just black water. Yeah, he doesn't. He's not even some he's he's a prop tea coffee. Man. Imagine if he was a <laughs> secret tea man and he's just like at night is just like throwing up in the bathroom, <laughs> drinking his tea. <laughs> uh, all oh, for not. That's all. Yeah, I hear he likes tea and Chevys. That's what I hear. <laughs> tea, and, tea and good old. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Subarus, I don't know. I can't. Yeah, we tried. We went. We did pretty good there. Yeah, I had a run. <laughs> yeah, but other than that, no, the moving things are hard. Um, and you know, I have a uh, got a new mattress. I never spent real money on a mattress before ever. So mm-hmm. I spent real money on a mattress. Mattresses are fucking crazy expensive. They're dude. so expensive. Do you know what I want to buy? Mattress. A Tempur Pedic. That's what we got. Wait, no, is a Tempur Pedic the one that go up? 
Yeah, so yeah, you Tempur-Pedic, and then there, there's Tempur-Pedic, which is the type of mattress. Then there's the Tempur-Pedic that goes up and down. That's and the one shit. I want. The guy was trying to upsell me, man. It was like twice the price. Yeah. And I almost did it because oh. I, I was lying it. My legs are going up. My back's going up. If you got a up. TV in your room, bro, oh. cut a hole in it to shit. Fucking yeah. add a refrigerator on the You're side. Set. I'm never leaving that and room. I will, I will solve puzzles through, from my shitty Tempur-Pedic 100%. foldable bed. 100%. The, yeah. the guy even said, he's like, he's like, all the famous people have this one. That's what he told me to my face. I'm like, you're trying to play to my vanity, sir? And you're like, clearly not. I'm like, I, clearly I cannot afford this. Clearly not. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, clearly not. No, ultra famous people don't have foldable <laughs> fucking beds, dude. That's what he said. They sleep so in piles of money. I bought I bought the mattress in in Montreal from a guy who only speaks French. Oh yeah, and he's like, yeah, we'll ship it. And I'm like, I'm like, do you speak English? Hope it gets there. And then yeah. he's like, he's like, he's like, no. And I'm like, oh, this is gonna be so weird. I have so many questions. Yeah, here here's four thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, exactly. uh, <laughs> really hope it makes it to my place. Yeah, like, I, like in the other province. Googling what's the French word for firm. I was like, yeah. oh my god, ferme. Ferme is the same. It's yeah. fine. Yeah. Ferme, which is also farm. <laughs> so. Either you're getting a oh, chicken coop or yeah. a comfortable mattress. Yeah, there's a lot of hay on this one, so maybe I You get a firm mattress? Yeah. yeah. Back, eh? uh, firmer than I thought. And I've been sleeping fucking great. I tried the soft one because in store, Feels you like, lay on the soft like one, you're cloud, like, bro. Oh, I'm going to lay on this forever. Yeah. And so here's what happened. I ordered it, and um, three days later, I was crippled. I couldn't. Yeah. My back was so fucking locked in. I called him. I'm like, hey. You got to switch this to semi firm. Mm-hmm. Like we got to go semi firm. This is yeah. working. Like no problem. Just fucking we'll pick it up. Did that. Yeah. Got the semi firm one. Better. Better. Three days later, fucking locked up again. I'm like, no fucking way. This is now it's a me problem. It's not a mattress problem. <laughs> yeah, for sure. But maybe it's a mattress problem. So call them back, and they're like, we because they have to burn those mattresses. When you send it back, you can't so. resell them. I guess so, yeah. Right? They, they lose so much money. It's like a used car. You lose fucking half the value it's off the true. bat, right? Even for even a night. I wonder. Yeah. No. Oh, for sure, for sure. They, they do not just wrap them up and sell them again. You can't. Legal. So, um, hmm. not saying they do, saying they're not allowed to. <laughs> okay, yeah, right, right. Um, so like, that's a good market. So, yeah, I, I was on the phone for like hours trying to convince them to get you the other one. Because I was like, and they're like, you're just going to send this one back to you. And I'm like, I promise you I won't, no matter what. And yeah. it took all that. And eventually, my third mattress. And, you know, it was kind of it was kind of like uh, Goldilocks and the Three Bears story, except I went for, you know, yeah, you the, went the other way. The big porridge. Yeah. yeah. And then, yeah. And then you can you get a big bear to sleep in here with me. And then yeah. you said, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wonder what Goldilocks, I, that's probably the real story, you know? Goldilocks. Yeah. Uh, real story is she three bears. She walked into a bear's den. Yeah. Um, hungry, looking for shelter. Yeah. And the bears ate her. Yeah, alive. That's, that's the and bears deal. don't give a shit about you. They will tear your arms off while yeah. you're screaming. They will eat Ask your hip. Baby. They will start eating, gnawing on your hip mm-hmm. while you're alive, yeah. and then bite the side of your face off because you make a noise, and then keep going at it like they don't care. I saw a bear eating a, f- a fish the other day on, on Instagram. Just tearing it apart. And and, and, and the fish is still like. Yeah, yeah. I, I never actually felt bad for fish before because when we catch fish, we club them, yeah, and then we cook them. Yeah, this bear just chewing into bears it, and it was care. like, "I'm not dead yet." Yeah, like like wild cats and shit will attack you from the back. Yeah, and they will cut your throat. Basically, they will bite your throat that's, and hold you there until you die. That's some fucking common courtesy. That's courtesy, and you know they're classy animals. Yeah. Um, and then bears will literally like swat at your shoulder blade yeah. and you're like ah losing an amount like a crazy amount of blood yeah. and then they will just bite your foot off and the other pair comes in with the defibrillator so you don't pass out yeah <laughs> <laughs> bring you back to life a little adrenaline shot yeah. yeah every few hours come to wake you up a little bit before they start uh you know before they start eating your skull yeah no i've heard that i, about I heard a, yeah a bear story about a guy getting attacked by a bear and it was terror horrifying well, the he, way he described it because he said he could hear the bear crunching on his skull fuck and me. he's like the fucking breath on that thing was just disgusting it was like enough to make you throw up fuck off oh my buddy caleb's dad was attacked by a bear when he's hunting and I, like, I never got to hear the full story because yeah. he's sick of telling it, I'm sure. Yeah. And him and I, you know, we weren't that close. So I, I saw these huge scars on him. I'm like, what the fuck is that, dude? He's like, oh, my dad got attacked by a bear. Badass. And I'm like, oh, it's I fucking badass, though. So much. But also, like, I, I'm not saying, like, they deserve to be attacked, but I'm saying fair. <laughs> yeah, if you're in a bear's den. If you're, not a t- if you're not hunting a bear and you get attacked, fuck you, bear. Mm-hmm. 
right? But if you're hunting a bear and the bear attacks you, it's like, hey, you were doing the same thing. You're playing the game. Exactly. Yeah. So it's like, I get that. it's not, I'm, I'm not like, yeah. go bear, but I'm also no. like, fair. Yeah. Yeah. And oh, even this guy, from my recollection, he wasn't too. Because hunters are in tune yeah, he with was the like, animals. Hey, they man, understand the I laws yeah. of the forest. Yeah. You're, we're playing the fucking dangerous game here. Let's go. Yeah. Like, yeah, it makes sense. Like watching some of the Rogan podcasts where he goes on and has guests that are like hunting and shit. Yeah. And they just talk about all that shit and yeah well, it's kind of fascinating your... but not fascinating enough for me to want to do it no not I... like mma like maybe if yeah. you know i watched more mma shit i'd get into mma would never get into hunting my two favorite podcasts for rogan are when he has comedians on or hunters mm. because both those topics are something he can actually talk about yeah <laughs> and he sounds like a person who knows things. that's right that's good the other ones i'm like i'm like hey man i like the dmt ones though oh yeah he knows about that too i guess the shrooms bit, but, yeah. the DMTs but some the... of them i'm like i'm like i'm like it's like talking to like I'm just like oh no I, yeah. I'd rather stick to, like I have whoever you want on I mean I talk to people yeah. about all kinds of shit I don't know either but but it's it's fun when, it's fun when someone knows what they're talking yeah. about yeah I love the psilocybin talk man. yeah that's fucking that's good. talk to me about fungi talk to me about all that yeah. shit like I'm fucking in it's all connected baby yeah, remember it. when he had the mushroom guy on yep that was and, one of the most fascinating and then one guy he, he asked him about fucking portobello mushrooms or something and but he's like I don't want to say anything about those I feel I feel for my life. Or something. You remember this? No. It's near the end of the podcast. What? Yeah, he was like, he was like, he was like, what do you, what do you mean? You don't want to comment on fucking portobello mushrooms because people are gonna, what, you would be assassinated? He's like, I don't want to say anything about them. He's like, it's a big industry. I just, I, I fear for my life. <laughs> Should I not eat portobello mushrooms I anymore? I have no I idea, eat dude. They, so much dude, portobello mushrooms. They just left it at that. He's like, okay, I guess I'll move on. And then he fuck off. Don't leave it at that. It was, it was insane. It's a good cliffhanger. Yeah, it was wild. Not the cliffhanger you'd expect. No, no, no. You're like, so let's talk about portobello mushrooms. I fear for my life. Podcast <laughs> yeah. ends. You're like, yeah, what the fuck? That's how I felt. I was like, what am I listening to? I'm going to go back and listen to it again. Yeah. Portobello mafia out there. <laughs> yeah. You so he fucking, better not say it. He better not say the thing. You got Paulie Portobello. <laughs> fucking head of the Portobello crime family. Yeah. No, I mean, it could be. Yeah, it was wild. I don't know. I got maybe. Maybe I misrepresent. Maybe I misremembered all that. I, was, I do. I do drink and listen to podcasts on occasion. Yeah. Sometimes I drink and do podcasts sometimes. Yeah, that's true too. Yeah, no one else can get at the bottom of it. We have to, so why not? But yeah, we'll get this bad boy up and running. Uh, a couple people last week didn't tell three friends, so that's fine. But um, oh, you mean the week that we didn't have a podcast? That's what it was. I'm like, we didn't grow there. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, I feel like uh, we need to get this bad boy up on the. Uh, we need some clickbait, West Park. Yeah, I know. It was First of all, let's look at the camera. Let's give him like a good. Let's oh, give him yeah. a good thumbnail let's right here. Yeah, yeah. I think they got it. Yeah, that's probably they got it. You genuinely looked excited. I was. Like I looked at you and I was like, "What's happening? Is something about to happen?" <laughs> <laughs> I for sure thought you knew something I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> You're really good at that. Yeah, we. Uh, yeah, clickbait all day. We'll figure it out. The North Korea stuff was really good. We we don't talk about it enough anymore. There's good. nothing going on, <laughs> yeah. man. They don't spice it up anymore. These fucking North Koreans, <laughs> I'm know. telling you. Oh, no, that not true. Actually, yeah, you're not allowed to wear leather or something? Yeah, Kim Jong-un, <laughs> famously this fashion icon. <laughs> what an icon. He banned the leather jacket so nobody yeah. could look like him. Allegedly. I think they're just putting smearing smut on his name because I think, you know, I, I think uh, no one in North Korea has access to leather. Yeah. So that, where are they getting like, these leather coats? Yeah, it's like, oh, you can't wear leather coats. Like, where do you go to the leather shop in North Korea? Like, with what money? Like, yeah. do you guys function on nothing? Like, like, how many rats do you have to skin to make a fuck, fucking dude, leather there's coat? There's no leather over there. Like, I don't know what they're talking yeah, about. rat leather, dude. I saw a fact that there was, like, iPhones are the second most used phones in North Korea. And I'm like, how? Why am I getting such conflicting information <laughs> yeah. from North Korea? On one side, people are eating rats and fucking human feces and all this shit. And on the other side, they're like, oh, you're not allowed to wear leather coats and be on your iPhones. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. what the fuck, yeah. dude? Get your shit. Get your story straight, North Korea. Yeah. I don't understand. Their PR department's all over the map. It really is. Yeah. We got to go. <laughs> we got to go there. We got to check it out. I got to see percent First fucking hand. Once they, yeah, once they shut her down, I'm down to go, like post-Chernobyl visit. Oh, yeah. You just walk through it all? Yeah. But they give you the tour. Because yeah. I don't want to, a lot of people, like I said, have watched all those fucking YouTubers go there. And there's a weird yeah. train they take, and like it's all this huge thing. It's a bit one big act, like right. And you're only it, seeing the sunny side, yeah, are, yeah, which is still cool. Yeah, I still want to see the awkward, you know, cringy <laughs> simulation Hi. they're running over there. Like I'd love to know that, <laughs> but also I'm afraid for my life. Like that one guy who stole a poster, fuck, and just like died there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it must be an accidental. 
Yeah. No. Yeah. I mean, it was Kim Jong Un fortunate. <laughs> <laughs> Zing. Yeah, I mean, dude, uh, if I were to buy a trip, is any indication of uh, how much fun you can have when you go to places where you don't know anything about yeah, it? Yeah, don't Google places before no, you go. Go. Uh, but apparently, like I like we we can talk about this. We uh, we posted some pictures from Dubai because mm. we were out there. We were actually on business meeting out there. Um, but whilst there, we thought we'd see the sights Dubai has to offer, as one would going to Dubai anywhere, going anywhere. And uh, dude, I never got so much backlash on Instagram posts. People were like. Fuck, there's slavery over there, modern slavery. Yeah. Uh, you, and then like all this, like, I can't believe you support this. And boom. So I was like deleting comments. I was like, get off my feed. Like, yeah. what do you, what kind of activist are you? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like just attacking people on their Instagram, having a good time. Yeah. I, you know, obviously. If that you, aren't clearly like, I'm going there to start my company or whatever the fuck. I don't yeah. Know like, what like I mean, and first of all, like, I mean, like I'm a chill dude. I'm, I'm a reasonable guy. Don't attack me and accuse me and like mm-hmm. on my own account. Like I'll just delete you and block you. Yeah. Like I don't want that vitriol yeah. existing in my world. 100%. Even though it exists outside my world, I created this one. Let me just live in my little la la land on Instagram. Yeah. And uh people got so mad and they were like emailing me, reaching reaching out to me. Like, I can't believe you are anti uh human rights, is what they said. Yeah. And I'm like, and then I tell I talked to Wes about this, and Wes goes Wait, you're typing from an iPhone. Yeah, I mean, you're typing from an iPhone that, that a child was built, thousand <laughs> percent made of child labor. Yeah, um, you know what I mean. Well, check it. I I just went to fucking Brussels the other yeah. day, and you know how much I know about Brussels? Nothing. Yeah. So like sprouts. I just go places because y- you do, and then I don't have to. You expect me to research and know everything exactly. about everything? Fuck off! Mind you, I did do my research after, and it is kind of messed up, but this is all... No, I again, looked into it, too, and I'm for it. Yeah, but I was it, all for it. <laughs> I support it. Yeah, no, I, uh, that's why I was trying to give them my money. I said, these are for the but slave it, owners It or does whatever. feel one-sided to me, too. Yeah. Like, I mean, there's no one else defending this. or anything. So, you know, uh, sure. what to... What to believe, guys? You know yeah. what I mean. What what to believe? You want to pick a side? Pick a side, right? I'm not picking a side. I, I'm not a guy who likes picking sides because every time I pick a side, I yeah. blindly pursue that side and <laughs> completely ignore all of the other input you have to offer. Yeah. All I'm doing is stacking up my case for my side, and I don't want to be that guy. Yeah. So I have no side, and I'm just having a good time. All right. So leave me alone. My my, my family was like. Well, uh, tell me about Dubai. They're trying to get me to sum it up. And I'm like, easy. Uh, I flew there in a hotel room. Yeah. Uh, there was a uh, clone dog, stem cells. Someone casually mentioned a trillion dollars, and we went on a 200 foot yacht. Yep. And then I came home. <laughs> I'm like, that's. Oh, and I had sushi at a French restaurant. Yeah. It was Those are the, all the things delicious. that happened to me. It was amazing. Yeah. The food was great. The weather was fantastic. Fuck yeah. Uh, <laughs> the weather is funny because you look at the weather app, and it's just <laughs> yellow balls. Across the board, just yellow spheres across the board, 31 degrees Celsius, period, 26 at night. Yeah. Uh, my kind of weather. <laughs> yeah. And people think it's dry. The fucking weatherman just film pre-records everything, yeah, pre-records sends it, it in. Yeah. yeah. He's just like, ah, oh, 32 and sunny yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. And just yeah, says Yeah, but you don't dates. want to know what happens to him when he gets it wrong. So. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Fair. But, uh. Yeah, no, the weather is like, and it's quite humid out there because it's by the Persian Gulf, yep. which we went fishing on, which was a lot of fun. Yeah, went even swimming. And you went in the ocean for the second time in your life. Yep, second time in my life went in the ocean. That was nice. That was in Abu Dhabi. You've been to so many oceans. I can't believe you never got in them. There's no point. Yeah, no, it's true. What's the point? Just touch your toe and call it a day. If I want to swim, I'll just go swimming somewhere. I don't That's have fair. to go to the no, ocean to go swim. Sense. It makes sense. Uh, but being by the ocean is nice. Uh, Abu Dhabi is absolutely chill. Like from what we saw, we didn't see actual the city. We were on like a little resort. Yeah, and it was beautiful. Got to go to the meeting, and the meeting wasn't in the city. So yeah, but it was beautiful there. Uh, yeah. People are very chill, laid back. It's uh, don't like, like I said, don't Google these places because <laughs> don't you, you Google them, it frightens you, man. We were reading all of the, you know, the Sharia law, all yeah. this stuff. Like before going there, we're like, holy shit, dude! Like we can't say the word fuck. We can't give a middle finger. We can't yeah. like all these little things. Chris is like I'm not gonna wear any of my jeans with holes in them. Yeah, exactly. And, and I bought I new like, yeah, jeans. He's like I, long sleeves only. I'm like, yeah. yeah. I, I thought, dude, I fucking, I was afraid that like I'd get caught vaping or something. Yeah. And, and so I was researching vaping laws and, you know, <laughs> I was very paranoid, but you go there and, um, I don't know if it was just because we were like, we were around good company or yeah. whatnot, but like, no, I, I saw none of that. No, not, it, I felt like being, there in- were people holding hands in the mall. Yeah. When we saw, you know, public displays of affection were completely illegal. Dude, there was mini skirts and holding hands yep. and whatever. Yeah. And like. Yeah, it was like kind of like a uh, kind of like a Vegas without the drugs and alcohol. Yeah, 
Yeah. Like what Vegas could be. Yeah, true. <laughs> really? And you can find alcohol, but you have to be very much in the restaurant. Yeah, in the restaurant yeah. or at home, which is fine. And like, I was like, Chris, we should push this. Like, maybe you and I should start making out just to see. Mm. And he was like, such a pussy. You didn't want to do it. That would have been good if we did. You know, could have pushed it, man. Could have. Could've. Could've it was great being on the water, seeing the sunset, mm-hmm. seeing the architecture in that city is fucking. That's cool. That blew my mind. That's like, cool as shit. Like, say what you want. They are pushing the boundaries on what humans can build. Yeah. Uh, and and yeah, okay. The fuck, maybe the humans who built it not treat us so good. I don't yeah. know. I don't know the story. But what I'm saying either. is that you look at these buildings and you're like, you're in awe. When you're in awe. You can't help but be like, Gah. And you it's know? the most, uh, apparently it's the most diverse place, uh, is diverse city. 85% of the people that live in Dubai aren't from Dubai. Dubai. Kind of like Vegas. Yeah, yeah. No, it's like, yeah, it's just. Kind of like the strip. Yeah, true. Yeah. True, true, true. Yeah. Yeah. That's but it's, it, it's crazy. Uh, I would get I would get, I get sicker of Vegas quicker for sure than I do of Dubai. One hundred percent. And that was one of the things when we got there. We're like, yeah. this is kind of like Vegas, except after two days you want to go home in Vegas. Yeah. Uh, whereas here you're like, oh, six days wasn't enough. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Dubai then and now. There's one really cool picture that I saw. This one here. Yeah. Let me just let me just send this to Artie here. That's a top down. Look at the dates. Whoa. No fucking way. Yeah. That's just in 20 years? Yeah. What? No. Yeah. Yeah, there's a bunch of pictures. Fuck me, man. Yeah, it's wild. It's wild. Holy shit. Yeah, when you look at when I'm staring at the same fucking pothole for three winners in a row, Yeah. these guys uh, built a fucking... You know, Mesopotamia out here, fucking in the middle of the desert. So they must go to like a building from like 2004 and like, this is our history. <laughs> like, yeah. this is look how old this one is. Yeah, well, this is from yeah. 04. Yeah, you can't tear it down anymore. It's a, yeah, it's it's a, a historical, historical monument. Historical monument. <laughs> that is fucked. Yeah, dude. to know that I was born almost 20 years before that city was. Oh my God. Next time we go, we uh, have to get out in the desert though. Yeah, I want to. I want to see the before. That, yeah, that was one thing we wanted to do. <laughs> yeah, show but me there's the like it, it really opened my eyes. To be honest, uh, to that part of the world, I'd never been in the Middle East. Yeah, we and, learned so much. Yeah, there's like, of course, there's like you know half a dozen countries where you know you wouldn't recommend going as a tourist. Sure, uh, but there are some beautiful places j- such as Jordan. I really want to go to see Petra. Yeah. yeah, and all that. Yeah, um, you know, there's some beautiful spots out there that deserve you know Absolutely. to be seen. Um, they're they're. It's the pillars of humanity, well, I, uh, of civilization yes, started there. You know, know. You're, you're looking at this is where humanity started in this yeah. general area. And so the, the amount of history is second to none. There is no other place on this planet that has more history than the birthplace of civilization. Yeah. You know, so seeing that is, is truly like it, it, it has this reverence is yeah. what it is. You've, there's this feeling of reverence that you have like this this crazy respect but also like this almost like this fear of like whoa this place is so fucking old i'm so irrelevant in this giant fucking old civilization yeah. you know what i mean yeah i uh, yes i, I want to do that i mean i feel that way about about uh that and i also feel like uh i feel that way about eric about eric <laughs> i uh i want to um why does that who texts me no i'm oh. just saying i i i Eric's old as petra well, <laughs> I I, w- I was like before when I went before I went there I was like the Middle East yeah was yes. just a place yeah and I wasn't being like I wasn't lumping it all together mm-hmm. but then I get there it's sort of I, yeah it's sort of a little bit you know and uh, you know and then I I'm like oh I get there and you're like oh there's 14 different countries and I don't even really like being lumped together with Americans that's right <laughs> so imagine that Same. right and yep. you're like huh interesting that's true weird. So like I'm like oh I was just sort of doing that there is and again some... we only went to fucking Dubai which there... is the westernest place on the yeah, planet absolutely like, I, right. I'm, I'm ready for that yeah I definitely know. definitely but. agree but also there is a lot of uh, Islamophobia you know that happens mm. over here that that's just really built into yeah. our uh, culture that isn't necessarily like we don't even realize it yet it's kind of like when people were being homophobic or racist yeah. 20 years ago and they were like, what do you mean it's racist or homophobic? Yeah. I think that's where that sort of Islamophobia is. And especially after nine 11, yeah. you know, that became more of a thing. Like when I think of middle East, yeah. instantly my brain goes to that. 
Yeah. As a Western person, instantly my brain goes to radicalist, extremist. Uh, it, it just yeah. did. It did before this trip. And totally. now I'm like, oh, these people, there's a lot of genuinely beautiful, amazing, brilliant people there. And, and you know, it's, it's, they're highly, you know, intelligent and fun and captivating and their, and their history and everything else. So, well, yeah, unless you really put yourself my in those situations in front of those people, you're, 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 we're all subject to the fucking brainwashing or whatever yeah. the propaganda like, is. Even the sh- uh, the sheikhs wearing the uh, all the white the wearing the white robe. robes, right? Yeah. And uh, I'd asked I'd asked uh, our friend out there. I was like, w- "Is this religious?" And he kind of looked at me like laughingly, like, "What are you serious?" Yeah. Like, because I and I'm like, "That's a totally normal question, dude." I would have thought I, that's I a normal think. question. I I can vouch for most of the people I know <laughs> yeah. that think that that's a religious thing, yeah. and that blew his mind. Yeah, and he's like, no, it's a cultural thing. They're proud of their culture. He's like, you could wear it; it would be fine. I'm like, I assure you, it wouldn't be <laughs> fine if I wore it. Uh, I mean, I'd pull it mo- off. It's, oh, you look great. I look so good. It's it would, the most practical. It would hide all this shit you're looking at right now, dude. It's it's, it's light and it's not hot. Exactly. I get it. I mean, yeah. it makes sense. It, yeah, it was growing on me. Yeah, it's fun because like everybody's like, uh, yeah, I, I see you see people praying, you know, and, mm. and I was like, what the oh. And call, like, I've never seen this before. Call to prayer was nice. Yeah, oh, that's fucking. It's like huge. this, like just on the speakers, no matter where you're at. Well, we're coming like, in the boat. Nah, 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 I like this fucking voice, and you're like, whoa, this is fucking magic. I what, felt what's so, happening. I felt so ignorant because you, you, you asked, and you're like, holy shit, this call to prayer is like fucking beautiful, or whatever. I thought our it was just coming from our boat, <laughs> and we were just playing. This weird, as we're docking, as we're just, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> that's what I thought we were doing, and you knew right away, and it was beautiful. But I'm like, oh, how the fuck did I know this? Yeah. Like I've watched Homeland, I should know this. Yeah, it is. It is kind of <laughs> cool. It's just, it was just cool to experience. You know what? Uh, one of the main things was the food, man. The food oh, was buddy. out of this world. It was really good. Yeah. See, obviously, no, it was you know, in Dubai. It wasn't other world. There was there was cars and there was buildings and all this the food. But yeah. yeah, just genuinely, I I uh, I had a great time. It was a beautiful place, and um, not saying. Not saying just Dubai, by the way. I'm saying I'm I'm genuinely interested. Going to check out more areas in visiting different parts of the Middle yeah. East. I think it's a beautiful place yeah. that uh, I was just not aware of. Me too. Yeah, for sure. Um, so we ended on that. Sure, might as well. All right, guys. Uh, see you next week. Uh, tell three friends. Please do like and subscribe. All those other fun things, if you want. Yep. And we'll see you then. First hot shop. Yep.